So welcome back everyone, we're here aboard the Pathfinder, floating through the vast dimensions of space, and it's time to make another world, because we're just that bored. Now we're going to set it to hard mode, because it is that episode, and I probably should have explored a world of peaceful, but, you know, switch back and forth every time, we're going to get unlucky sometimes. So I think... I didn't find anything super specific I wanted in this world. I have an effect Nundima in there. And a lot of these I actually don't know what they do, like the digits. Um, I can guess what some of them do, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, there's no thunder. And then we have unknown ones. C can we... Can we just put in an unknown one and see what happens? No. I have to research them. Probably should have made research at some point. So we just have an effect none to make sure we're not like hungry or anything. And store. And we got this tablet thingy. This is the one that we just used. And there should. That I think is the dimension we already have. I'm gonna keep this either way. That was the dimension we were just in. This is the new dimension. I have to remember how to do this. So you throw that in there, and you click that. There's the, there's the book. I, I don't remember. That's my lunchbox. What do I do? Um, so we did that, and then before that, Open up the interface of the dimension builder and place the tab inside. Open up the interface of the dimension builder and place the tab inside. Okay. How do we get there? So we're just going to tap it. I'm going to search carefully. Open the interface down in the top section. You should see only one entry uh, titled Matter Transmitter. Okay. So that made the world. You dial it. this to this I think and I'm going to get some cobblestone in case I have to build a box for myself I'm going to eat some lunch Can you eat a piece of bread please there you go I'm getting tired of carrots and bread, that's all that's in here. Okay. Here we go. Whoop 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 whoop. Whoosh. Hopefully it's not night. Really hope it's not night. I also really hope there's nether quartz here, because I kinda need some nether quartz. I'm gonna cut this out. Oh, we're here. Snow. Don't you know it's snow? These islands? By George! They're islands! We have some, some iron golems. Yeah, these are islands. We're trapped. Wait, how do I get out of here? I don't know what's going on. Um, I did a thing. Don't think we unlocked anything, though. Hmm. I 
I think we actually had to make it this stuff. Yeah, we actually had to make the transmitter and stuff. It was easy. We had to make it. Yeah. I have some iron. Okay. Yeah, I think we can do this. That looks cool. Okay, so it's gonna happen. Took me a while to, you know, get my sky legs. We are not going to fall to death. And we are going to get there before night comes. I do see some stained clay down there. I don't think that's anything significant though. Oh, there's a Blizz. Hi, Blizz. Are you going to spawn a lot? I hope you don't. Okay, we almost there. Be there. I think that was gravel and it all just falls. Huh. That'd be funny. That wouldn't be that funny. Whoa, why are we being slowed on the snow? Slow snow. We have slow snow. Did I bring any redstone? I did. Because I am a smart cookie. I also bought some wood. So we should actually just be able to craft the stuff we need right now to get back. Um, I have planks. So, yeah. Let's just see what we can do. Make some of these. The matter transmitter. Nice and simple. Now we just need the dialing device, which I believe takes a chest. So, a little more wood. Managing inventory at the same time. I think it goes something like this. There, no. Oh, slabs in the middle. Dialing device. And this should be able to pretty much go anywhere. But it's going to take power. So I probably shouldn't put it right there. I should put it next to this thing. Pick up. Like, I'll put it right here. And now I just need to make another... Um... Sterling generator. Yes. Yes. Which I should have the supplies first. Let me just make it real quick. You know they say, never stare at the sun. I have a good reason. I don't think it's moving. Like I said, an angle right now. If you look at the bottom row of pixels, it doesn't go all the way across. There's that tiny little gap, like right down there. We can get that again. But it's not moving. Normally, if it's moving at all, that would be sliding back and forth. But it's not, which means it's never going to get dark, which means it's always day. And I found copper. Which means this place might not be so bad. Except for the fact that there's snow everywhere, and that makes you run really slow. Hi. 100 HP, huh? Can I take them on? Do this. Boom, boom, boom. Just so he can't like throw me into oblivion. What? Wow, he hits hard. Despawn. Oh, those are tinker tools. They don't despawn. This will despawn, though. Well, that didn't work so well. And this thing doesn't have enough power to get back. It might. I can find power. Yeah, there should be some in there. Yeah, there is. Hmm. 
I gotta figure out what to do now. You still mad? We cool? I, I didn't mean to light you on fire. I just want my things. Very cool. Oh, he's, he's giving me looks. That's my head. Even. Yeah, we cool. He all cool. He's cool. Alright. So. I am back here. To show you what I've done. Which is set this up. Um, I don't remember if I showed it before. I got whacked in the face last time. Um, but I got all the things. I made the sterling generator. It's powering this stuff. I used a coal from this bag. Almost out. And I think that's all we can do, pretty much. Okay, I know I wanted to um, get some nether wart, but I don't think that's really an option yet. Because we have no mobility. Honestly, we have no mobility. And I think I'd want to make a jetpack before even start thinking about moving around and going places. So this thing's almost at the point where I can actually use it. I was here. So, when that's done, I will teleport back up to the ship, back down to our old world, and we can do some material processing, see about getting some thermal expansion stuff set up, some power set up. Uh, question. We have big reactors. So at some point, this is going to be our power supply. Uses iron instead of steel. That's very handy. Pink. When did you get pink? There's pink now? I don't remember there ever being pink. I know there's yellow. I don't remember pink. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the plan. Obviously, we can't set it up right away. We might be able to. I have to see if we have any yellowium. But once this charges up, I will we'll go back and see what we can do. And we're still in hard mode. Fun. Where'd it go? It was right here. It's, it, uh, it's got enough power now. Gonna head back, numb some more carrots and bread. Now wait for this thing to charge. Put a little bit more coal in it. And yeah, that's that. That should do it. Back we go. I forgot to dial. Long number. Ooh, careful. Alright guys, let me tell you what I've been up to. Um, I set up a little chest here. And basically what I did is I dumped everything in the chest. Went over here. Grabbed a random dimlet. Made a world. Tested the world. Died in the world. Just to see if we could find anything. What I know is we now have a place to get a lot of mossy cobble and I now have clouds turned off that's what I've gained from that experience uh, so I think the current course of action is to proceed in this world Get some wood, do the thing I just did, and be back. Okay, let's do it right this time. Power. Like burn more coal. Power. So very nice. So we are back in our main world. This is where I plan on spending most of the time. Uh, mainly because we're not finding anything remote. But anything really interesting in any of the other worlds. 
And we already have a nice setup here, so we might as well uh, make ourselves comfortable, get settled, build some stuff. And there is some stuff I want to build, mainly featuring all this over here, the Ender IO mod. It's a fairly popular tech mod that I really haven't ever played with before. Um, I've seen it used a few times, but not really to the point of understanding what everything does. It's a dimensional transceiver. I know it has pretty pipes, that's about it. And these are the pretty pipes. So how do you make these? Conduit binder. Uh, you smelt a binder composite. It's made up of sand, clay, and gravel, so it's pretty much grout. I was going to say Groot. I am Groot. Uh, redstone, iron ingot, and an alloy smelter. How do you make an alloy smelter? This uh, machine chassis, which takes a basic capacitor. There's lots of crafting to do. Let's see if I remember any of that or have any supplies. Do I really not have any copper right now? Really? Where did I get that gold? I don't remember where I got the gold. I'm losing my mind. It's a floating shovel. Uh, I don't think I'm going to need invar, I think I'm going to need iron. So I got some copper. Do have some gold now. Uh, go away. Let's see what we can do. Let's get some nuggets. Make two of these, uh, just in case I need two. I think it was redstone. Yeah. And iron bars, I want to say. And maybe just iron. Oh, yeah. Machine chassis. Chesseth. Now we need three furnaces. Going off memory here. A iron cauldron. Iron? Yes! Best memory. Okay, let's make a piston now by swapping that out there. And I need some wood. Yeah, I'm going to make a piston and make the thing get set up and junk. And we can see what we get from there. Okay, I got some binder composite here. I made the smelter, obviously. You saw that. Um, so this thing looks like it can function as a furnace. So... Oh, it took three? Why Why you take three? Hmm. You, you gonna give me 12? I, I, I would like 12. Alright, we cool. We cool. We're all good. So. I'm just gonna store this in here for right now because I know I'm gonna have the space. Let's try making some uh, conductive iron, I think it's called. That. Oh, it only. Does it just. Oh, it might. Maybe. Oh, that's really cool. Sorry, just brain stuffing. There's three slots here. I guess each slot can act as a furnace. But if you're too lazy to put them in each slot, which obviously I am, uh, it'll just take it. Take three of them and smelt three of them. Which is really cool. I like this thing. I need more of them. You need to go faster too. Wow, it's slow. That's only one. Uh, speed. No. Upgrade. Anything from Enderio in here? Machine upgrade increases energy storage and speed range machines. Capacitor. So can I just use a basic capacitor then? Or do I need a double layer? Pulverized coal, energetic alloy. How do I get glowstone? I think I have some glowstone. Yeah, we spawned with glowstone. Oh, that's neat. I don't know where it is, but I know there's some somewhere. It's not uh, missing like nether quartz. So, three? I made, thought I made four. Oh, it's melting. We only need three, and then uh, take 
this, we should be able to make some conduits. Hey, they're so tiny. Items are bigger. It's different. I believe these just transfer energy. 640 RF. That's a lot of RF a tick for not being incredibly expensive. So it'd just be like that, and you get transfer energy. Pretty sure you can also like add more pipes and like transfer items along that too. We'll have to look at that in the future. But I think that's going to end off the episode for today. I just want some iron. Um. Next time, we'll go deeper into this Ender IO thing and try to figure out what in the world is going on and how we can make it better. At some point, I'd like to set up a big reactor because it just takes iron. It don't take no steel. Um, shouldn't be too bad. I just think we need some yellowium, which I don't know if we have yet. So that'll be something to have to look out for. But anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.